Hey guys, do you know which words are prohibited in academic writing? Which phrases can help you to write an excellent essay? We have prepared a video test for you so you can check your knowledge. The quiz will start right now. And remember, only one answer is correct. Are you proficient at academic writing as a high school student? Or perhaps your English level is a master's? After taking this test, you will be able to determine your level of academic English based on your points. One correct answer equals one point. Good luck! Which word is not acceptable in academic English? However, therefore, in addition, furthermore. The answer is, in addition, this transition word is considered unnecessary as it does not demonstrate any logical connection. Which words should be avoided in academic English? The majority of, a couple of, a great number of, or many? The answer is a couple of. You should always specify the exact amount, or you can use appropriate synonyms like many, several, or a number of. Which word should be avoided in academic English? Always, commonly, typically, or frequently? The answer is always. Academic writing is usually unadorned and direct. Some adverbs of frequency may also not be accurate. So be careful with such words and try to use more precise data. Which phrase is too informal for academic paper? Is it frequently, till, crucial, or somewhat significant? The answer is till. We recommend avoiding till in academic papers. You should use until instead. For example, from 2017 until 2023. Which word should be avoided in academic English? Is it a humankind, police officer, legislator, or congresswoman? The answer is Congresswoman. Academic English requires only gender neutral words. For example, Congressperson. Which phrase should be avoided in essay writing? It goes without saying, this paper analyzes, the research demonstrates, previous studies highlight. The answer is, it goes without saying. Parenthetic words bring no surplus value to your writings. Professors will consider it a trick to complete a word count rather than add value to your work. Do rhetorical questions have any place in an argumentative essay? Yes, if it supports the main argument. Yes, but only as a hook phrase in the introduction. It can be a part of a main body. No, we should not use rhetorical questions. The answer is, no, we should not use rhetorical questions. Asking them, you assume that readers know the answer. What is the value of this question then? Rhetorical questions don't expect explanations, which is inappropriate for academic writing. For a 500-word essay, how many words should be written in the introduction? 50 words, 100 words, 150 words, or 175 words? The 
The answer is 50 words. Introduction and conclusion should both be approximately 10% of the overall essay word count. Which word should be avoided while writing an essay? Is it obviously, significantly, frequently, or thoroughly? The answer is obviously. Some words and phrases reveal your own bias. For instance, if you state that something will obviously happen, you are indicating that you think the occurrence is obvious, not stating a fact. Try to let the facts speak for themselves. Below this video, you'll find helpful links to our AI Explorer and other sources containing free guidelines, reviews of educational tools, and study samples. Be sure to check them out and don't miss your chance to be among the first to discover all the innovative tools for achieving academic success. Which words should be avoided while writing an argumentative essay? Would have, somewhat significant, so on, an ideal solution. The answer is, so on. These run-on expressions demonstrate nothing but your inability to work with arguments, details, and examples. Please avoid them in your essays. Congratulations! You have completed the test. The results are shown in the following table. So how many points did you get, guys? Share your answer in comments. Also, I recommend you to watch our videos about essay writing hacks and tips. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss our new tutorials.